Welcome to Coffee or Champagne. Happy New Year. New Year's resolution number one, make more videos. Yes, so after New Year's we decided that our New Year's resolution was going to be to make at least one video per month on this channel. So count this as our January video because we're a little bit late, but we already have one planned for February. So our goal this year is to try to do one per month. Absolutely. New Year's resolution number two, lose the five pounds I put on over Christmas break. Oh, mine's like a spare tire around my stomach. It's all cookies, pretty much. And that leads us into uh, New Year's resolution number three, which is to still stay up on the trends, even though it's yuck February and it's cold here. Um, so we're going to kind of touch on some of the pieces to keep you up on the trends and can't change the fact that I'm short, so I'm going to accentuate on the positive and talk about pieces that, of course, tall people can wear but short people accentuating um, and detracting. How about that? Okay, okay, great. Let's take a look at what you have. So yes, it's a classic look, but the dress is the go-to. And this is actually a suede dress. So I know short people tend to shy away from any of the scrunchy fabrics or the suedes, but really this kind of pulls in the next segment, which is the monochromatic look. But it has just enough piping that kind of accentuates um, in all the right places. The length is good. It's above the knee. Solid all the way around. Very little detail. And of course, you can pull it back to a great pair of big girl shoes to give it a classic look for a shorter person. Of course, it would look great on a tall person as well. But another piece is that scrunch dress I was mentioning. Short people tend to shy away from anything with a little bit of color block. They think it, it cuts them in half or with the scrunchy material. But this one is a um, helmet lang dress that has leather underneath and looks great with a pair of really dramatic statement shoes. Again, the length, even though it has a little bit of detail, is just above the knee and looks great on a short person. So always a classic look for a short person is the shorter dress with the length a little bit above the knee and the big girl shoes. I've definitely got the big girl shoes on, but I cropped it with a short jacket and it still has a very classic look but always a go-to for a shorter person. Another classic idea for a shorter person is monochromatic but you can work that a little bit. It doesn't mean from head to toe you need to be in black or one color. You can definitely mix it up. So say you had a pair of skinny, these are actually like a skinny velvet jean. Mix it with, this is a leather in front, sheer in back, top and then put the monochromatic same gray over the top to give it a very solid look, very slimming, and again, looks great on a short person. I would pair that to a pair of booties. We <laughs> could have been down. Oh. Um, several different booty options. These are a great pair of Chanel booties. They don't have a crazy high heel, but they've just got a very classic look, which looks great with a skinny jean and even a little higher of a boot. These are my Ash booties. I know I've showed these before. But these have a higher heel, but they look great with a pair of leggings tucked into them or a pair of skinny jeans tucked into them for the short person. Also, the solid black look always looks great. So you take a pair of the pleather on front, sort of legging on back, with a big bloused sweater from Michael Kors on top, and it just gives a fun look. And this looks great with a pair of colored high heels. I showed them with a pair of red Jimmy Choo's, but you can also, this is your opportunity to pull in that statement clutch. And again, the focus is on the clutch. You've got the solid piece, the monochromatic, great for a short person look. Now we're gonna take it to everyday basics. We kind of touched on some better pieces for going elsewhere, but let's take it down to the everyday short person. Where are we going? Pair of jeans, so for spring, the straight leg and bootleg jeans are back in, but they are not to be worn with a pair of boots so much or a pair of booties. They are shown with a flat, and yes, a short person can wear them. So take your straight leg jeans. These are true religion that look good. They're very kind to the behind. Look great with a pair of flats, but take your everyday flats and jazz them up a little bit. Give it a new, fun feel. This is my everyday collection. It's not as glamorous, no, as the fun statement shoes, but this is your basic everyday fun flat, a little bit of a heel on a suede warm boot, 
it's raining. I still want a little bit of a heel again because of my height. So these are just a great pair of Cole Haan shoes, boots, that I can put on with a pair of leggings or tuck in a pair of um, skinny jeans. And then these Burberry boots, they're very basic, but they have just a nice slight heel. And these are great for me to wear with a skirt or with a pair of jeans tucked into them. So that's basically your everyday, giving it a little bit of lift for a short person. After looking at all those outfits and all those shoes, I'm glad I'm not short. I yeah. am. It takes so much more effort. It really does. It just takes a little more of a thought process. So my whole point behind this is that you can't dismiss fashion. Anything you see in the magazines for fall or for spring, you can't dismiss them, dismiss them based on the fact that you're short. I've gone through and showed three ways, basically, not to do that, which is the monochromatic look, the um, ways to wear every sort of jean, and definitely the way to get a little bit of lift out of everyday basics, whether it's a boot or a flat. Very good. Yeah. As always, if you have any questions, if you're on the shorter side, we can get Jill to answer them. If you're on the taller side, I'd be happy to answer those. So we hope these tips have helped you, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.